This is the new Cloud Vocal Flash Track microphone. It's a compact USB studio microphone that they say is one of the best, easiest options for making great quality recordings on our saxophone. Well, today I'm gonna to check it out and find out whether it is easy to use. And in fact, I wanna put it to a test by making a recording using just the Flash Track and my iPad. <laughs> So we all know how important recording a saxophone is for making fast progress. I mean, that's why it's such an important part of what we do at Sax School with all of our thousands of students. But it can be really complicated to get the recording process right. I mean, apart from the microphone, you need a stand and lead, you need an audio interface, you need a computer, you need some recording software. Then you need to know how to put all that together to actually make it work right. It's a nightmare. And that's why I was so excited to see this Cloud Vocal Flash Track microphone, which connects with USB. Now I know there's a bunch of other USB microphones on the market these days, but this has some cool features that I've not seen elsewhere. And I think it really suits what I think most of us need to do as saxophone players. I'll tell you about those features in a minute. Oh, and by the way, if you've seen my 10 Easy Christmas Songs video recently, you might have noticed that I actually used the flash track microphone to record all of the saxophone parts on that video. I'll put the link up here. Now Cloud Vocal are also the people behind the very clever little wireless microphone, the iSolo. I made some reviews of this, loads of our sax school members use it. It's actually a fantastic little compact microphone for saxophone players. I'll put a link to my review up here. But let's have a look at the flash track today. Now as I mentioned, the connection is simply a USB-C and that can go straight into an iPad. Now I'm using GarageBand on my iPad and there's actually zero setup. You can see by the light on the microphone that it's recognized by the iPad and we're actually ready to go. So as saxophone players, we love to record with backing tracks, right? Well, the flash track makes this process dead easy because you can actually stream your backing tracks directly over Bluetooth to the microphone. I'm gonna do this for this test recording today using my iPhone and it's dead easy to set up. On the back of the flash track, there's a button here. Well, we can press that to activate the Bluetooth. You simply pair your phone like you do with any other device, and then you are good to go. So now I can play the backing tracks directly from a phone, and they're gonna come through the microphone and go into my iPad. Now, of course, we need to be able to hear that backing track, so that's also dead easy because on the back of the flash track, you can connect your headphones directly in using a mini jack. So that's a pretty easy setup. Now let's have a go at recording and see what it sounds like. So what do you think of the sound of the flash track? Let me know in a comment down below. To me, it sounds quite warm and lovely and smooth actually, and pretty clear. I've just got this set on the standard settings, there's no fancy stuff going on, but there are a bunch of great settings in here which I wanna show you about right now. And by the way, I didn't tell you, but the, this Cloud Vocal flash track, it retails at 299 US. We do have a special discount that you can use as a coupon link down below or a discount link down below. It'll get you about 6%, I think, off their full price. So if you use that link and go over to Cloud Vocal, you can get a discount on this microphone. Now, $299, it's not the cheapest USB microphone out there, but I think it's got some really, really cool features, including these next ones I'm gonna show you, which I think you'll really like. So 
So we've got a bunch of settings on the top here where we can control things like the level of the headphones and the level of the track that's coming in. We can also change the EQ settings on here. So let's explore those first. So we can see three different things on the display here. The top one is the microphone volume. The second one is the track volume and the bottom one is the headphones volume. And by press pressing the volume button here, uh, we can cycle through and choose which one we want to adjust and then just adjust it using the dial. It's really, really easy. Okay, so then we've got some EQ settings here and there's a bunch of different options. Let's have a listen to what they sound like. I used the flat setting when I recorded before. It sounds like this. We've also got the warm setting. Clear. And bright. Now the last option here is My EQ, and if you press and hold the EQ button, you can then actually set your own settings for your EQ, uh, whatever you feel like adjusting the levels as you go through. Very cool. Okay, the next one is Compressor. Actually, let's just put this uh, back down to flat. And if we go over to Compressor, we've got a few options as well. So we've got Off, we've got Cast. <laughs> Punch. Sing. Dynamic. And then again, you can set your own settings. And the last setting on the end here, if we put that back down to off, is our reverb settings. If we go into reverb, we've got a bunch of different options too. So off or modern. The next one is concert. We've got live. We've got classic. Uh, this one called KO. Wow, that's a bit full on. And then, yes, uh, the last one here is you can set your own reverb up. This is actually what I used for the recording before, and I think it's just a little bit of reverb, but it sounds quite nice. <laughs> Now there's one more setting I want to show you, and that's actually here on the front button. If you press the front button here, you can change the type of modeling of the microphone. So it says IR off, but we've got a ribbon microphone, or we've got a dynamic microphone. So if we put it onto the ribbon microphone, or if we change it to a dynamic microphone, what a powerful little microphone. There really are some great features in this, and I think for a small setup as a saxophone player, this really takes a lot of beating. I'd love to know what your thoughts are though, so let me know in the comment if you like the sound of it or if you use a different USB microphone. Now don't forget, this microphone could be used with any other computer as well, so I'm using it with an iPad here, but you could actually plug it directly into your phone, or you could connect it to a tablet, a laptop, or a full computer. It's really up to you. The purpose of today though is to see if we could do a compact setup and I think it's worked quite well. And I really like the idea of having something as powerful as this that I can just use with my iPad if I'm on the road or if I just want to practice and work and record somewhere where I don't have a lot of space. So. This is definitely one to consider. Don't forget to check out the link down below. And also, if you want to come and see what we're doing at SAC School, then don't forget there's a 14-day free trial which is running right now. The link for that is also down below. It's a great way for you to come along and see how we're helping thousands of students every day. Whatever level that you're at, whatever style you're interested in, there's lessons and courses inside SAC School to help you. In fact, there's over a thousand lessons in there. 
thousands and thousands of students learning with us every single day and a huge team of teachers helping those students as well. So you can try it out with a 14 day trial, come along to some of the live streams, explore the lessons, even get some help from the teachers and see if it's for you. Hope we see you in there. Thank you.